Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. Where in this video, we're going to learn how to use refresh tokens and access tokens to add authentication and authorization to an Express app. So before we go over some code, let's have a quick overview of refresh and access tokens. So when a user logs in with their credentials to a website that uses token authorization, they'll most likely receive two tokens in response, an access token and a refresh token. The access token has a short lifespan and is used to identify and authorize the user in subsequent requests. The refresh token has a long lifespan and is used to obtain a new access token when the access token expires. So for example, in this diagram here, first the user logs in with their credentials, most likely a username and password, then they receive an access and refresh token returned, which could be in different ways, but one common one is in HTTP cookies. The user then uses the access token to get protected resources. So say there's some protected routes like profile information, friends, users, and they all need an access token to obtain or get that data returned. Next, when the access token expires, a refresh token is used to get a new access token. So specifically, we'll call a route, say for example, dash refresh with a refresh token to get, to get a new access token. The new access token is returned, and then we use this new access token to get the protected resources again. So essentially, when the access token expires, say we call to dash API dash profile, we'll get a 401, or something saying unauthorized in response. And what we will do is on the client, then make a call to a dash refresh route with a refresh token, get a new access token, and then call this route again. And this can all be done without the user knowing that their access token has expired. And now just a note about security. So having both refresh and access tokens creates a better user experience and increases security because the user does not have to log back in if the access token expires as the refresh token can perform a silent login and get a new access token. The access token has a short lifespan, so if it's stolen, the attacker has a small window of access. The refresh token is only sent over the wire when a new access token is required, so there's less likely of a chance of it being stolen. And also, refresh tokens can be revoked if they have been compromised, whereas access tokens cannot. But let me get the setup we had back. Move this back to the side. And now before we go over the code, I wanna show you the general workflow of how this works. So what we will do is say we log in, which is WIT code and subscribe. Say we click login. If the login is successful, we use the access token to get the payload, which in this case is just the username. And of course, once again, you'll see all this in the code. But if we look in here, say now we go to our application tab and let's look at our cookies. We have one here called my access token right here with the value, which is the access token, which you can also see down here. And so now if we want to access this, this is a protected route. So if we access this, we will get access because we have a valid access token. Now let's say we delete this access token and let's try and access this route. What we do is get re redirected to the login page. But what we can also do, and this would be handled in a client side script, is we still have a refresh token and we can use this to get a new access token. So say we now go to refresh, it'll say new access token generated. You can see our access token and our refresh token, and it's showing up because we are on the path refresh, which we can see listed here, which essentially means this refresh token is only sent in requests to dash refresh, while the access token is sent to anything. But now we have a new access token regenerated. If we go back to profile, now we have access again. And so of course, let's say we delete our refresh token. So in here, let's delete this and delete our access token. Now if we go to refresh, we'll be redirected to the login page. If we try to go to a protected route profile, we get redirected to the page here. And now let's go over some code. So this over here is an Express app that uses refresh token and access token authentication. And what I'll do is I'll go over the code. I'll also have the code available for download on my blog site in the description. But first off, what we have here is a route that serves up a login form if the user does not have an access token. If they do have a valid access token, we'll redirect them to their profile route. So simply we take the access token from the request the cookies header. And this is done because we are using the cookie parser middleware, which is installed from NPM right here. And this essentially just takes cookies out of the request and adds them to the express request object. But so if this access token, if one isn't present, then we'll send them to this login form here. If not, we direct them to their profile. Note that if this access token is fake, say we do get an access token, but the user just set some random one there, it'll be caught by our authorization middleware that protects the profile route. So this, if someone adds a fake access token header, it'll be caught further on down the middleware stack. 
And now let's talk about the post payload that's used for authentication or logging in. So if the login is successful, so basically this is all handled right here. And if the login is successful, we create both an access token and refresh token for the user and redirect them to their profile page. If the login is unsuccessful, we redirect them back to the login form. So here is the steps in order. So first, actually what I want to talk about is this up here, is first we have a map to hold the refresh tokens that belong to each user. So we'll have a user ID here, and then each refresh token the user has here. This is so that they can be revoked if they are compromised. So for example, say the refresh token has been stolen, we can blacklist certain refresh tokens for a specific user. Also note that in the real world, or at least what I do, is I hash refresh tokens and store them in a database. Because of course this could be cleaned up through garbage collection or tricky things like that. But so further back down to our post payload handling. So if the username is equal to wit code and the password is equal to subscribe, then the login was successful. If the username, so this block here, if, the, if they were not, then we log incorrect username and password and redirect them to the home page. Upon a successful login, we create both the access token and refresh token using the JSON Web Token library. So this library up here called JSON Web Token, which we call JWT, we use the sign method to create two tokens, our access token here and our refresh token here. Note that the access token has a short lifespan, so only it expires in an hour whereas our refresh token has a long lifespan and it expires in 30 days. Next, we add the refresh token to the list of refresh tokens belonging to a certain user. And this is of course, if it's compromised, we can blacklist it. Next, we use cookies to set our access and refresh tokens on the client. Specifically, we have one called my access token, which contains the access token. And then we have my refresh token, which contains the refresh token. And we have appropriate headers such as, or appropriate flags on these cookies, such as same site, to prevent cross-site request forgery, secure, so it's only sent over HTTPS connections, and HTTP only, so client-side scripts, like JavaScript, can't be used to access the cookie. And also on the refresh token cookie, we also make it so the path is refresh, so that means that this token will only be sent in calls to dash refresh. And then we set the age of these cookies to match the age of the tokens. So this is 30 days for the refresh, and this is at one hour for the access token. And so after all this, we just redirect them to their profile page. But now let's talk about handling our refresh token, which is done all in this dash refresh route. So what we want to do is first, we want to place this refresh route before our authorization middleware, which is this right here. So remember in Express, middleware runs in the order it's presented. So placing this before our authorization middleware means it will hit this before this if we make a call to dash refresh. But essentially what we do in this middleware here is we check the validity of the refresh token and use it to generate a new access token. So first we get the refresh token from the cookie headers. If there isn't one, we just redirect them to the home page. And after that, we try and create or recreate a new access token and set it on the cookie. So what we do is we use the JSON web token library to verify if the token is valid, meaning it hasn't been tampered, hasn't expired. And what we stored in here is the username. And we did that by setting up here, when we created these tokens, we put the username right here inside the token. So when we verify the token, we get this payload returned, which is the username. And then we create a new access token with this username and make it a, once again, expiring in an hour. Then we create another cookie called my access token again. Then we just log that's been generated and then send back 200 saying new access token generated. If the token is invalid, so say this method throws an error here, we will reach this block and we will clear the refresh token cookie and redirect them to the home page, which would essentially mean that they have to log in again. And note that the way this route should be handled is there are multiple ways of doing this, but a, one that you could use with this dash refresh is a silent login, which basically means that the client, so say it's a React app or Angular, it should have some logic implemented to call this route whenever the user receives a 401 unauthorized from the server. So say they're trying to contact dash profile with the access token and they get a 401. What they would do is say you're using the fetch API, you check for the status code. If it's a 401, make a call to dash refresh, get a new access token, and then try that call again and it, see if it's successful. So there's logic on the server, but there will also be some logic on the client. But this is all it is with, this is all it is with the refresh middleware, 
Now let's talk about our authorization middleware. So I'm going to close this out. And next is this right here. And this is global authorization middleware because we're using app.use and not providing any path. So this will be called on any request, of course, unless these ones intercept it before. But essentially what this middleware does, so this right here, is it checks to see if the request contains a valid access token stored in a cookie. So here's what it does. We receive the access token from the cookies header. If there isn't one, we just redirect them to the home page. If not, we validate the access token. So once again, we verify it with the secret. And this secret should be a really long, complicated string like this, but also more securely kept in environment variables and out of the public reach. But so if the verification is correct, then we attach it to the request response express lifecycle, which you can do with this locals variable and place it in something called user. And then we go to the next middleware in the stack. If the token is invalid, then we clear the cookie and send back a 401. So it could be invalid, say if it's expired. So after the hour is up and the token's expired, then let's get it sent back 401 and the client can then see, let's try and get a new access token with the refresh token. And then finally, we just have a protected route here. So because this authorization middleware is placed before this, it'll be, it needs to pass this check before this is reached. And because of that, we can assume that there's a user variable on the response which we can take the username from and then return hello to the username. But so this is my video on refresh and access tokens with Express. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today. If you want to support me, please consider downloading my Chrome extension, Web Scepter. Besides that, um, have a good one.